Hey everyone, I just wanted to drop this in here right before the video. I happen to make a Discord server, so I'll drop a link down in the description below. Um, someone was asking for it when I was streaming the other day, so I decided to just make one real quick. Uh, if you want to chat with me directly, um, post uh, video suggestions um, and some links and some announcements to my stream and whenever I post videos. All right, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, it's Bailed Shot back at it with another Awakened Chaos Era video. This one's going to be my own free-to-play progression and uh, things that I could, would have done a little differently, um, things that I don't necessarily regret but could have gone a little farther, a little faster um, to help you on your own uh, beginner's journey. All right, let's hop right into my collection. I'm going to start off with this uh, just to let you know what I'm uh, working with. Um, I did pull Evelyn first on pretty early on. Um, I got a little lucky, although I don't think she's completely necessary in every one of your teams. She's a very good character, don't get me wrong, um, but she does lack a little bit of something extra. She does hardly any damage, as you can see from her multipliers. Um, she's got a really, really low base attack, um, so she probably provides purely support, and this is the key, the bonus turn to all allies at the end of the round. Um, so this is a very, very good skill, and this is pretty much why everyone uses her. Um, so she's pretty good, um, and I, I don't really have her gear leveled up too much. She doesn't really need gear to be successful. Uh, you just want to get her a little health, a little bit of defense, so she survives. And focus, of course, uh, so you can land her debuffs. Um, now, Mathasia is next. She was my actual rookie summon, and this is something I actually would have done a little differently. Um, I haven't used Mathasia all that often. Now, I don't necessarily know if I would have gone with Hydrissia either. Um, I know a lot of rock guides recommend you Hydrissia, and she is a very good character. She helps you get through campaign. But there are a couple other characters that I think I would have preferred. Someone like um, Hector or someone like uh, Evra. Either of those I probably would have preferred over Hydrosia and over Mathasia. Uh, but Hydrosia probably is the top three uh, for sure. Um, if not, a little bit better than, than Hector. Um, and uh, as you can see, Mathasia is not really geared at all. Um, I just threw on some gear that was already upgraded a little bit. Just so she's useful. Now Tia is someone I pulled after beating the campaign for the first time, after getting to Mythic, and she has been a complete game changer for my account. Um, she is excellent, absolute, I think, arguably top two legendary in the game, if not top three. Um, she is absolutely amazing. Uh, just her ability to CC everyone, full team fro enemy team Frozen, and Frozen, if you do not know, increases damage um, rather than decreases damage, which a lot of other games do. Um, so she's actually like a damage increase if you use her first in arena, which I do. Um, so she's insane. She does quite a bit of damage. Um, as you can see, S attack, really good, really good base stats. Speed's um, not super high, but it's pretty decent. Um, really good health, really good defense, easy to keep her alive. And I have her outfitted with full damage gear. Um, she does quite a bit of damage, um, even more than Zachary, whom I think a lot of you are building out there. Um, now I do have Zatlux. I only unlocked him uh, a couple days ago. Uh, he is absolutely amazing. If you are re-rolling, then I would actually recommend that you re-roll for Zatlux over Hydrissia. I think he's even better. He'll get you farther, and he's definitely worth taking over some of the legendaries out there, unless you want to have a little bit of fun. Um, other than that, I pulled Nathalia. I have built out Zachary and uh, Connor, and these are my... I only have seven six stars, no five stars. Um, I think Nathalia is one of the best in the game, one of the best epics. She's really, really useful, especially for certain dungeons, getting through campaign. Endless Trials, really, really good. Um, I had Zachary built, um, but I kind of removed some of his gear in, in favor of Zatlux. Um, I, this is something I actually would have done differently along with Bethesia. I would not have six-starred Zachary. Um, I think there's a lot of better damage dealers out there. Zatlux, Nathalia are just to name a couple. Zatlux is completely free. You can get him eventually um, just from upgrading gear to 15. And this is the campaign gear. So this is worth taking to 15. They have uh, stats, I think the exact same every single time. And the stats are pretty good on it. So I would take that to 15. And then there's Connor. Um, I think this is actually a recommendation for every single person out there. I think Connor is worth a six star for every single account, um, pretty much no matter what. Um, and the reason why I would recommend actually six starring him is because of these two abilities. These two abilities scale off this character's attack. So when you six star him, his attacks can get even higher. Um, and you're going to heal and shield for even more. He fills two roles. He fills the buff role and the support role with healing. He just takes up two slots, uh, essentially, whereas, you know, you might actually need to bring in a separate healer if you're not running him. I think he's excellent. Um, I don't regret six-starring him ever. Um, now, a couple of things I will be doing in the next couple of days. I'm going to be going for uh, building possibly Lydia. Um, oh, another thing is I have built out Kyle, and this is something a little fun. I built out Kyle, two-star level one. He is a staple of my arena team. 
I put on some like pretty just garbage speed gear on him. I could upgrade the speed to get even more out of him. He's only gear level two, uh, or gear level three rather, no glyphs in um, glyph level three. Um, so he's still super useful. Um, and I would highly recommend taking a look at Kyle just to get you that advantage against all those Windstrexes out there for those of you that don't have them like myself. Um, now, I haven't been really involved in the dungeons at all. Um, so you can see I'm stage eight, stage seven, um, and one across the board. I only did these two just to get the quests done. And I haven't even finished the quest for stage seven. I'm going to be doing that uh, probably today to do the summoning event. Um, and stage eight, as you can see from Tulpa, I can do higher stages. I have literally not tried since the quests. Um, and I would recommend that for everyone. Pretty much don't even bother with the dungeons until you're, you know, glyph level legendaries and such. Um, I have maxed out pretty much all the elemental dungeons, um, so I can get all those ability crystals. And I would recommend not really farming any epic or legendary skill until you can at least farm, uh, eight or nine. Um, that's what I did. It's super efficient if you do eight and nine. If you do anything less, you're going to be getting a lot less epic crystals and you're going to be taking a lot more energy. Um... Other than that, I have gone through my dispatches, through my bounties. I dispatch, I'm only level uh, two, essentially. Uh, I haven't gotten a lot of the epic uh, dispatches, which will make you upgrade your level. I'm bounty hunt level 64, uh, or rather, I completed 63. Um, this one has been pretty tough, but T has helped me a ton. Um, other than that, I have finished uh, Mythic up to Mythic 9-1. I haven't tried past that, really. Um, I could use some uh, support heroes for me to be able to beat past that. And I have unlocked Zatlock since then, so I should be able to beat past that. Um, other than that, I'm uh, Platinum 5 in Arena, rank 231. I was a little higher, but uh, I haven't really uh, done too much Arena lately. Um, I've only been doing the event, which I have completely completed uh, in earlier on, couple first couple days. So that one was pretty difficult. For those of you that are not doing uh, too much Arena, this one is difficult. Especially if you're in uh, silver or bronze, you're going to be getting even less of the uh, points. So it's going to be taking even harder. Um, so that's pretty much my account. Um, now, a couple of things uh, that I would have changed, especially, um, as I already mentioned, Methasia and Connor. But also, I would have pretty much not six-starred Evelyn first on. And you might be like, wow, that's surprising. But I actually would have preferred to use uh, my resources on another character, um, like Auric. Because um, I want to go for Tulpa soon, um, or Intinua, or even um, Kyle down here, even though you don't really need much resources in him. I prefer to get him to four stars so he can survive some straight hits. Um, I did happen to pull Lydia uh, recently, and I will be working on her soon. Um, I do not have any uh, Legendary Soul Arcanas, and I did a video on that. Um, pretty controversial, but <laughs> I did a video on it. I don't have any. I do have a couple epics, and I will be using them on Nathalia. Actually, I'll do that right now. I'm going to be ascending her uh, just to her trait so that she can do an extra 10% increased damage, which ends up being like 50% increased damage on all of her attacks. And that pretty much wraps it up for uh, this video. It's just an update on my personal account. Um, I did want to get it out there just to let you all know where I'm at, how I'm doing, um, and uh, who is this person, and why are they uh, telling me what to do when I haven't seen their account. All right. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Um, if you want to see more of these, please leave a comment. I don't know if there are you do want to see me progress through my account, uh, but I figured I'd, I'd drop a video on my account itself. That way you could check me out. Um, and that'll be it. So I'll hopefully see you for the next one.